<laughs> okay, you can move a little bit closer. <laughs> yeah, okay, so I'm here with a, with a friend of mine from this scientific diving and documentation techniques course. And uh, I, I would like for you to tell the audience who you are and, and what you work with. Um, hi, I'm Anya. Uh, what I'm doing at the moment is an MRES um, in the University of St Andrews in Scotland. And so for my thesis for my MRES, um, I was working on an artificial reef complex in uh, Loch Glynn on the east coast of Scotland. Cool. So wh what have been the most uh, like rewarding exercise so far on the course? Um, probably the photography because, well, I think like being able to quantify transects underwater using uh, photography is like a really useful tool. So I think that was a great part of it mm -hmm. for me. Cool. What do you think of like the facilities we're using in the boats and the access to diving and the gear? Yeah, everything's been perfect. Like I've worked with a, a facility back at home, um, which is covers the whole of UK and the facilities weren't even as close as this, like even as good as this. So um, yeah, they're really, really good. Couldn't get any better. My name is Linus Hammer and I work at the Swedish Agency for Marine and Water Management. And before that I worked as a PhD student in Chalmers University. And there I work with fish behavior and how they respond to tidal and other ocean energy systems. For monitoring, you have to compare it with other methods that could be fishing for instance, where you, you don't really see what happens. So fishing could be good for monitoring in some aspects, but when you dive there then you really see what's happening and the behavior of fish and it gives a more thorough picture but it might be more expensive so I think it's a good complement to other methods. Yeah, so firstly, it's a lovely place here in Christina Bay. So just being here and enjoying this environment was great and a great opportunity. Um, I think the facilities are, are very, very nice, both for accommodation and also the laboratories are very well equipped. Um, there's a lot of technical equipment available, like different cameras, like really cool uh, professional cameras and light systems that you can use underwater. So we felt like real, like, Badass scientists, basically. <laughs>